Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. And what was your first break? You know, I'm still waiting on it. No, um, I don't know. It, it depends. I, I think it's gone in several phases. Vampire Diaries and How to Get Away with Murder, Insecure, all been different stages of breaks. Break it through. What have you been in? Uh, those. <laughs> um, White Famous. Um, I played a British dude named Robbie. Uh, Vampire Diaries, like Jesse. Uh, Flash. Um, let's play Brainstorm and um, uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Got to play Caleb, Insecure. Now I'm playing Nathan, um, Supernatural. All that good. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? I feel like it's good. I, feel, I get I get to play a bunch of different, like very different characters with different accents from different backgrounds, and uh, people of color don't get to do that very often. So I've been super super grateful, and I hope it continues. How did you decide to become an actor? I did a T chart. In ninth grade, I, I, I always, I, not, I'm not going to say I always wanted to do, be an actor, but like since maybe sixth grade or whatever. And when I got to ninth grade, I was deciding between that and law and I did a T-chart and did the pros and cons and was like, which which one do I want to do? And and I decided, you know, that storytelling was my strength and that's what I loved. And I loved all, even the annoying aspects of it, just because I knew the end result with storytelling, with um you know, creating and, you know, and, and that's my passion and that's the best way I can serve the world. How would you describe your specialty or type? My specialty or type? Specialty in what? Acting. In acting? Ah, um, I don't know. I, I, I want to be more of a character actor. That's what's, you know, exciting is playing a bunch of different characters and, um, but I also love playing things that are really close to me and, you know, where I have to play with my vulnerability and, and, you know, uh, be portrayed in that light. Yeah. I don't know. It, you know, as many diverse different characters as I can play. Who is your favorite actor you look up to? There's so many. <laughs> um... I don't know. I, I have a lot of buddies that I love. Uh, Rosario Dawson and um, Matt McGorry and uh, M Mark Ruffalo, Shailene Woodley, um, Will Smith. I don't know Will Smith, but I look up to, you know, but I like, I look up to a lot of, of, of my buddies just because of how they use their platform and you know, they're artivists and they are also great, talented um, uh, actors. What would your ideal job be? My ideal job would be a project, a, a character I created and am producing. And then I can act in that. And that, that, that would be a dream and a goal come true that I'm working really hard on and can't wait until that happens. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? I don't, to be honest, I don't believe in luck. I believe I'm, I'm blessed. I believe I'm purposed and I'm walking in that and, and, uh, you know, whatever happens with that happens, even if it, when, you know, in hard times, that's still a blessing, you know, and, and, you know, I'm doing my best to, be intentional and, and purposed in that and whatever that is, whatever comes my way. So I've been, I'm very grateful for everything. What advantages do you have? Uh, perspective, I think, uh, that I'm, I know that, that my career is just a piece of my purpose. It's not, it doesn't define me. Um, and I know that I'm here to, uplift the voices of the most vulnerable communities and people of color and you know and and that is my purpose in life and then my career follows in that and services that 
So it doesn't depend on that. And like my whole life isn't my career. So I think perspective is probably my biggest advantage. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? I don't have a car. And I don't have a diploma. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a diploma. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? I think um, there are pros and cons to it. I think the, you know, the pro is that we see things happening all over the world and we can be inspired by somebody all the way across the world. Um, but also, you know, it makes us, especially with the news and stuff like that, it, it's overwhelming, you know, and gives us less of an excuse not to communicate and then puts more pressure on communicating and, like, it's, it's stressful, but at the same time, it's beautiful and advantageous in a lot of ways. Yeah. What does the future look like to you? The future looks beautiful and diverse. The future looks like, in my, my goal is that the future will look like one where the most oppressed voices are the most important. How do you feel about having children? I think I want them and I think it's a huge responsibility and test of character. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Um, Jesus Christ that lack of <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I, I, you know, uh, lack of love and respect, um, uh, too much fear, um, too much hate in this country, too much in many countries, I guess, too much white supremacy, too much, um, uh, socioeconomic disparity and and not enough celebrating of differences I feel like we're always like I care too many people say I'm colorblind and I don't you know I don't see gender and I don't see color and all that kind of stuff and it that's a problem like if you don't see gender and you don't see color then you don't see the beauty in the world and the diverse the diversity in the world and we're not celebrating um, each other's differences enough and that leads us to, to hate each other and think that, you know, some, because somebody's different, they might be coming in to take what I've got because they have an advantage or something like that. And then I have to find a way to hate them. And there's not enough, enough celebrating each other and, and coalition building and love. What are you most grateful for? I am most grateful for... Jesus and my mama <laughs> I love my mama what is your favorite way to communicate my favorite way to communicate is through storytelling like in every aspect in my activism in life and in, um, in my career storytelling and I'm super long-winded with it because I love every detail so people are like, all right, get to the point. I'm like, but you got to know what kind of red it was. <laughs> what is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Uh, hmm. I think my favorite, I loved, I loved Shape of Water last year. I love, I don't know, there's so, so many, I guess that's really hard. Uh, what's a book I just read? I just read My Love, My Love, or The Dying Girl. That one's really good. The Alchemist is still one of my favorite books of all time. What is? What else did you say? Music. Oh, music. I'll go with 
right now I'm listening to Osuna and his new album and Beyonce and Jay-Z because I just went to their concert, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I think, I don't know. My, it changes every day. <laughs>